it's Dr. Chris at Venture Chiropractic, back for another Fitness Friday. Remember, if you like the videos, click the like button or the subscribe so you get all of our future videos. But today we're talking about the Smokey Bear Principle, okay? Everybody wants to know uh, what the heck that is whenever I bring it up. Uh, but if you've heard of Smokey the Bear, you know that Smokey the Bear way back in the 70s and 80s was telling everybody like, you need to prevent forest fires, okay? We don't want any forest fires to happen, so we gotta eliminate any possibility of having a forest fire. If it's dry out, no campfires, no nothing. And they actually were really successful with that campaign. But there was a little side effect that we didn't realize was gonna happen. Small forest fires actually clear a lot of the underbrush, make way for new growth, and get rid of a lot of dead dry matter. They had a really good successful campaign with the Smokey the Bear ads and got way fewer forest fires to happen, fewer smaller forest fires. But the problem was that over a couple decades, a lot of dead underbrush accumulated. And if anybody's been watching the news, whether it's up in Canada or out in California over the last couple years, we have had the most severe forest fires and prairie fires uh, that we've had in, in decades and really a lot of naturalists out there uh, and ecologists think that to a certain degree this may be caused by this accumulation of undergrowth. We didn't actually clear the brush in small controlled fires. It built up, now we have huge fires all over the place. Where, what does this mean for your health? What it actually means is maybe sometimes it's okay to feel that little catch in your knee or that pain in your ankle. Maybe we don't want to cover it up with ibuprofen every single day. Maybe if our first thing we do in the morning is get up and go for that bottle of aspirin, ibuprofen, or Tylenol, uh, that might not be a good thing because you're, you're getting rid of the pain that day. And I don't want you to be in pain, I really don't. But I want you to pay attention to what that pain means. Pain is usually an early warning sign. And if all we're focused on is getting rid of the pain, rather than figuring out why it's there, a lot of times we might be preventing this small, irritating one out of 10 pain that gets to us. But if we mask the pain too long and continue to try to push through pain uh, um, during our workouts, because we don't feel it anymore, maybe when we exercise, maybe when we're getting our job done, a lot of times what we end up seeing is that people get this big pain out of nowhere and they think that, man, I must have done something that one day and it wasn't something you did that one day because you can't think of what it was. There was no particular one movement, but man, that pain got worse that day. What probably happened was you had this accumulation of wear and tear on those joints for a long, long time, and now all of a sudden, the pain got worse because it was the straw that broke the camel's back. Instead of having these little prairie fires every once in a while that you listened to and you went, you know what? Uh, my shoulder hurts when I lift the weight that way. Um, God, I've been sleeping really funny and my neck's kinked every morning when I wake up. Maybe I should get a new pillow or something like that. Um, you're not taking care of these little prairie fires. All you're doing is letting the problems accumulate when you mask them and then you're going to deal with a bigger problem down the line. So pay attention to those early warning signs. Maybe it's okay sometimes to deal with a little fire here and there, figure out why they're burning and then put a stop to that rather than just trying to eliminate any type of aches or pains from going on in your body uh, by covering them up. Figure out how to eliminate them by moving better, maybe by eating better, maybe by getting adequate sleep at night. If you're having trouble figuring out how to do that, remember we're always here at Venture Chiropractic to help you move better, feel better, be a better you. Give us a call. Everybody's moving, everybody's moving, everybody's moving, 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 moving. Everybody's moving, everybody's moving, everybody's moving, 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 and stop.